What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a roster video for you guys. I'm going to be covering the entire MDT live roster from the MDT champion all the way down to the jobbers. I'm going to go single through each every uh, individual superstar on there tell you everything about the superstar what they mean to mdt where their place is in the company at the moment some future endeavors maybe that they could possibly see in their future here in mdt and then tomorrow i'm going to cover vindications roster and do the same exact thing for you guys maybe even give you some heads up plans for what's to come in the company but um my plans for christmas day i am going to do a video on my entire christmas haul maybe it'll be an exciting video for you guys if anybody's interested in that i will be posting a Christmas haul 2017 video and I will put that up for sure but today we have the MDT roster so let's go ahead and get started all right guys starting out first with the big man on campus we have the general manager Eric Bischoff right here he is injured at the moment you know he has the neck brace and the wheelchair right here he got punted by Randy Orton so now GM Bischoff has not been seen on TV but he will be making an appearance on the next MDT live and he has some very big plans um, some things that he needs to announce to the MDT universe so stay tuned for that up next, we have the MDT champion himself, Edge, right here. Defended the title against uh, Randy Orton at Blackout. Very successful first pay-per-view, I think. I had a ton of fun uh, filming it up, and Edge has just been a great first champion for us. And I am very excited for what he brings to the table in the future. Up next, we have the extreme champion of MDT Live, and he is just an absolute beast. We have RVD, Rob Van Dam. For right now, in my opinion, probably Superstar of the Year candidate right here early on. We're still early in the MDT season, but I think that he is definitely up for grabs for that award, man. He has just been an absolute uh, beast on the show, just defending his title left and right. But up next, we have the United States Champion right here, Dean Ambrose, and he is just an absolute beast as well. Um, I know that he uh, turned heel right there on Shelton Benjamin and joined the Shield, but I think that uh, the Shield is probably the most dominant tag team on the roster right now. So that leads me to our next champions right here. We have the MDT World Tag Team Champion Shield right here. And I know a lot of people say they look weird with the pink belts, but I think they look awesome. I love the way they look. I love these title belts, and I think that uh, Seth and Roman have a lot more things to do in the future with this company. Um, I'm very afraid of what they have in their heads um, going forward. Nobody knows what the Shield is up to. So we have them, Seth, trying to fall down right there. If he'll stand up. So we got Seth to stand. Up next, we have the phenomenal one. We have AJ Styles right here. He is looking to uh, be in that Money in the Bank. I know he wants a main event shot. So AJ Styles is going to try to get in that Money in the Bank uh, ladder match. Up next, we have another man who's trying to get in that Money in the Bank. And we have CM Punk who is an absolute beast. We have not seen AJ or Punk ever since they, um, you know, that uh, Fatal 4-Way ladder match on MDT Episode 1. They missed out on the MDT Championship just barely. Up next, we have the recent man who lost to Edge at Blackout. We have Randy Orton, who had a great showing. You know, he put it all on the line. He did his best, but he came up short against Edge. So I'm not sure exactly what is next for him. I know that Bischoff is probably going to have some plans for him because he kicked his head off, you know, so... Nobody knows what's going to happen there. Up next, we have the Destroyer right here. Not the Destroyer. Um, but we have Bobby Lashley, who has yet to make his debut. Do not know when he will be showing up. Just know that the big man is there, and he is ready for his first challenge. Up next, we have a man who I don't think has been on TV besides the uh, Battle Royal. United States Championship Battle Royal right here. We have Apollo Crews. He also uh, hasn't been in the ring since that Battle Royal. Up next... We have another man who I do not think has made his debut either, and that is Kalisto. Kalisto has not been on TV yet. I don't even think he was in the Battle Royal, so we definitely need to figure out something for Kalisto to do. Up next, we have a man who came up short at Blackout in the Extreme Championship match, and that is Sandman. He had a great outing. Uh, him and RVD showed a ton of respect at MDT Blackout, but he could not get the job done. So Sandman, um, do not know what his plans are going forward either. Maybe he'll try to get into that money in the bank, try to bring his kendo stick into the fight. Up next, we have my boy right here who just missed out on the winner, or just missed out on winning the United States Championship Battle Royal, and that is Dolph Ziggler right here. Got the fresh look. Maybe he can make some noise, try to get himself into that money in the bank ladder match. Up next, we have another man who's very fun to watch in the ring. 
Um, just lost a Christian on the uh, episode three of MDT before blackout on the Go Home Show. He did lose the Christian, but I'm sure he's looking to respond. Maybe he can find himself in that money in the bank. Maybe find himself an opportunity at the briefcase. Up next, we have a man who beat John Morrison on that episode, and that is Christian right here. Um, a very good single star. I believe he is, uh, besides the Battle Royal, all he has done is fought John Morrison, but he is 1-0 in his one-on-one -on -one matches, so he is looking good right now. He's got some momentum going forward. Up next, we have Double A. We have Austin Aries, and he lost um, the United States Championship Battle Royal. He did not... Um, have the best performance. I think he got clotheslined off the apron by Big E or something like that. Up next, we have the charismatic Enigma who has yet to make his debut, but he is on his way. We have Jeff Hardy right here. Should make a ton of noise when he finally debuts. Have big plans for this man, so look out for him. Up next, we have the man that Gravity forgot, and that is Neville right here. Also has not made his debut either. So I am just, there's a lot of superstars and talent that have not quite uh, made made it to the ring in MDT yet. But you can expect Neville to make a ton of noise when he finally does. Up next we have We The People himself right here. We have Jack Swagger who's an absolute beast. Um, I love this guy. I do not know exactly what his plans are going forward. But I do know that uh, where, whatever he does, he will impress some people. So there's Jack Swagger. Up next, we have the man himself, No Way Jose, who has only been in the uh, United States Battle Royal, but um, he did have a good showing. He came in the final three before being eliminated by Dolph Ziggler, I think, or no, it was Dean Ambrose. The eventual winner, Dean Ambrose, eliminated him, so he had a good showing in that match. Up next, we have Shelton Benjamin, who has been, uh, he got assaulted at Blackout from behind, did not get his rematch with Dean Ambrose. So we will be finding out what happened to Shelton Benjamin on the next episode of MDT Live. Up next, we have the man who has not been seen since MDT Live Episode 2, and that is Rhino right here. Still has the blood on his face. Could not uh, really get that off. Maybe I can uh, get it off now, but I um, just sort of got lazy and did not clean him up. But Rhino is out for blood um, that is on his face, I guess. But he should respond to RVD when he finally heals up. Up next, we have a man who hasn't been seen since the Battle Royal as well, and that is Zack Ryder right here. Do not know what his plans are going forward as well, but should be a uh, maybe an asset. I guess we'll see. Um, there's a ton of talent on this roster, so I guess we'll just have to see. Up next, we have Heath Slater, and he eliminated. Uh, he got eliminated by Rhino in the Battle Royal. They used to be a tag team, but Rhino decided to take his talents elsewhere and uh, eliminated his tag team partner, Heath Slater. So that is where he is. Up next, we have Tyler Breeze. And he um, lost his tag team partner um, to Customs. So now uh, he is sort of on his own, I guess, until uh, Fandango returns. But there is Tyler Breeze. And then the last singles competitor we have right here is the man MVP, Montrevious Porter. And um, do not know what he is going to do. I know he had some highlights in the United States Battle Royal, but he was eventually eliminated. But I guess we will see where MVP goes from here. And now we will get into the tag teams. All right, guys, besides the shield, I wanted to cover the champions first. But getting into the tag teams, we have first up JTG and Shad. We have Crime Time right here, and they are absolutely beasts. Cannot wait for them to debut. I think they're going to make a lot of noise in the tag team division. I don't know if they can get past the Shield, but I think that they will definitely make some noise, definitely. Up next, we have the ones that were the first ever MDT World Tag Team Champions. We have the New Day right here. Um, they did lose in their table match against the Shield at Blackout, but I think they will be back. Um, they do have a rematch clause, so they definitely do get their rematch. I do not know when they will get their rematch, but it is bound to happen. Up next, we have the Dudley Boys, who were going to make their debut against the uh, New Day to eventually get a title shot, but the Shield crashed in on the New Day, and the Dudleys totally dipped out. They were afraid of the three-on-two situation they were in, so they got the hell out of there. And last... Lastly, the tag team we have here is the Usos, and I do not know where these guys will plug in, but I know they're going to uh, run the tag division when they finally get a chance to. Maybe they can cross paths with a shield. Who knows what's in the future for them. And then now we will cover the last two guys that are sort of part timey sort of, I don't really know where they stand exactly. But first up, 
We have Batista right here. Cannot wait for the uh, animal to make his debut. Not sure where he'll fit in, but you know, wherever he goes, he makes some noise. And then last but not least, the last man we have on the roster, who I sort of forgot was on the roster, but it is the greatest of all time. We have John Cena, and he will be a chain gang soldier when he uh, makes his debut on MDT Live. But yes, guys, that is the entire MDT Live roster. So yeah, guys, that is the entire MDT Live roster. Um, we are sort of loaded. I do not know how many exact stars there are. How many? Ta I think there's only like four or five tag teams. So we're not that deep in the tag team division. But single stars, we have plenty of talent here. If anybody wants to, go through and count how many superstars I named. And leave us a counter down in the comment section below. That would be amazing. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Maybe I, that is a cool, like, in-depth look at the back behind the scenes of MDT Live. But tomorrow we will be covering Vindication. Stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.